One of the most prominent Indian scientists in history, C. V. Raman, was the first Indian person to win the Nobel Prize in Science for his illustrious 1930 discovery, now commonly known as Raman effect. It is immensely surprising that Raman used equipment worth merely rupees 200 to make this discovery. The Raman effect. is now examined with the help of equipment worth almost millions of rupees Chandrashekhar Venkat Raman was born at Tiruchirappalli in Tamil Nadu on 7th November 1888 to a physical teacher Raman was a very sharp student after doing his matriculation at 12 he was supposed to go abroad for higher studies but after medical examination a british surgeon suggested against it raman instead attended presidency college madras after completing his graduation in 1904 and msc in physics in 1907 raman put through various significant researches in the field of physics he studied the diffraction of light and his thesis on the subject was published in 1906 raman was made a deputy accountant general in calcutta in 1907 after a successful civil service competition examination very much occupied due to his job he spent his spare time in the evenings conducting scientific research at the laboratory of the Indian Association for Cultivation of Sciences on certain occasions he even spent entire nights there such was his passion that in 1970 he resigned from the position to became the professor of physics at Calcutta University on a sea voyage to Europe in 1921 Raman curiously noticed the blue color of the glaciers and the Mediterranean. He was passionate to discover the reason for the blue color. Once Raman returned to India, he performed many experiments regarding the scattering of light from water and transparent blocks of ice. According to the results, He established the scientific explanation for the blue color of sea water and sky. There is a captivating event that served as the inspiration for the discovery of the Raman effect. Raman was busy doing some work on a December evening in 1927 when his student K S Krishnan who later became the director of the National Physical Laboratory New Delhi gave him the news that professor Campton had won the Nobel prize on scattering of x-rays this led Raman to have some thoughts he commented that if the Compton effect is applicable for x-rays it must also be true for light he carried out some experiments to establish his opinion Raman employed monochromatic light for the mercury arc which penetrated transparent materials and was allowed to fall on a spectrograph to record its spectrum. During this, Raman detected some new lines in the spectrum which were later called Raman lines. After a few months, Raman put forward his discovery of Raman effect in a meeting of scientists at Bangalore. on March 16, 1928 for which he won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1930 The Raman effect is considered very significant in analyzing the molecular structure of chemical compounds After a decade of its discovery 
the structure of about 2000 compounds had been studied. Thanks to the invention of the laser, the Raman effect has proved to be a very useful tool for scientists. Some of Raman's other interests were the physiology of human vision, the optics of colloids and the electrical and magnetic anisotropy. Sir C. V. Raman became the Fellow of the Royal Society of London in 1924. A year later, he set up Raman Research Institute near Bangalore, where he continued scientific research until his death, which was caused by a strong heart attack on 21 November 1970. His sincere advice to aspiring scientists was that scientific research needed independent thinking and hard work not equipment. Thank you for watching Edupedia World. Please subscribe to watch more videos.